and here we have them. Audio stopped recording and they look perfect. And I'm gonna squash. Everyone and welcome back to another video. So uh, I wanted to do this more vlog style. I thought I was going to do this more vlog style, but then I started to film the video and I feel like it's going to be like a hybrid in between my review videos and my vlog style videos. So it's not going to be so much vlog because I started to film a review that I was going to include to my vlog video of the bubble lime boot cut flare type of pants but it ended up to be a long clip so I think I need to scale it down to a review video so I will save some vlog material for another vlog otherwise this is going to be too long video so it's going to be a little review video but I am going to talk about them while I'm trying them on and I'm trying them on here in my studio for today so I am so excited because I found that bubble lime you remember the brand that I reviewed the uh, underwear of like the, uh, the panties that I am more or less always wearing yeah I'm wearing them now as well and uh, I am hooked on those underwear I'm wearing them almost every single day and my favorites are the super thin seamless ones and uh, I will leave the link to that video in the description box down below if you want to check out that review video I highly recommend it I highly recommend them but I saw that they had a lot of different other things also and they had the flare type of boot cut pants that are super super trendy now but I have a little bit of a problem because I am 178 centimeters tall I have been trying out some flare leggings but the problem is that they are always super short in the legs for me but I saw that bubble lime have the opportunity for you to pick the inner seam you can even get them longer than I have them like I was like why why is this not an option on every single pant and leggings out there? It should be, it should be. So I was super excited to try them out. And yeah, I, I think we're just gonna dig into the part when I'm trying them out instead of me sitting here and talking about when I'm trying them out. So let's jump over to that part of this video instead. We are going to take a look at them when I'm trying them on. So first of all, like, can you see how long they are in the legs they come in so many different lengths it's like incredible because that was the first thing i thought like okay you know this boot cut styles this flare styles they are always too short in the legs for me they are always like ending like this and it doesn't look nice at all so i took the length that they advised me to take when i took my inner measures and like they are even a little bit too long like, can you see so I could even have got one length shorter but I prefer to have them super long than to have them too short to be honest here we have this pair they are high waist pockets on the side I mean I like this flare pants boot cat style because I think it's very nice and I mean when I am wearing this with my Nikes like my Nike Air Max they have a little bit of a heel and then it's going to look very nice with this super long flare leggings so um, I will say super true to size I wear them in size small maybe big in size like true to size but on the bigger size range if you're in between two sizes go for the lower one and I'm gonna squat and I have been trying all of them before and I know that they are all squat proof. I mean, I think that they are gorgeous. They have a little bit of elastic band in the upper part here that keeps them in place. But as you can see, it hits right where my waist is. So it doesn't dig in and give me like a muffin top. Like if it would have been down here, it would have been giving a muffin top, which is not super flattering. So I love this printing so much but I'm gonna try on some of the other colors we're gonna go through all of seven of them are you into flare leggings at all or are you more in to the normal leggings I used to be when normal leggings started to be like a thing I used to be all into this type of flare 
pants and leggings more because it took a while for me to ease into the normal kind of legging, what we call normal today. So here's a camel pair. This one have a pocket here. No pockets on the side, but a pocket here in the lining. Also the same length, also super, super long. It makes me so happy because even if you're short or tall, or even if you're taller than me, you're gonna find flare leggings that is long enough in the legs for you. You can have the perfect length. I mean, isn't that amazing? I love that at least. So yeah, here we have the camel ones. They are also squat proof. And also the same size, I will say also fits the same. All of them have a middle seam, but I don't have any problem at all with camel toe or nothing like that. The same thing with the elastic band, it's a little bit of elastic band in the top. This hits a little bit lower, but still where my waistband is. And yeah, I mean, I love them. I love them so much. I think that they are super flattering, super gorgeous, just amazing. Let's try on the second pair. So this is definitely a little bit more snug in the size, not snug, but compared to the other two that I just tried on, these are fitting much tighter, but still true to size. I'll say these are more true, true to size. Here I could have gone away with size medium also, but size small is fitting me perfectly. All of them have their logo type in the back here, but this has more like, not so much of a boot cut, but more, more like a straight cut. So as you can see, this maybe would have been looking better on me with like a little bit shorter in the legs. But I mean, I can fold them up like this and they look perfect. So I still prefer to have them a little bit longer rather than too short. These have a pocket also here in the top part. And yeah, love the red color. Also squat proof. This is a little more like a little thicker, a little more compressive type of color. And I think it's super nice. Don't you like it? I think that they are super pretty. Not super, super high waist, but right where my belly button is. But remember that I'm pretty tall, so if you're a little bit shorter, they are going to be more true high waist. I'm also wearing the underwear from Bubble Line, if you wanted to know. A true boot cut. So these are not as straight as the red ones but they fit the same around like my waist and thighs and everything. Maybe the black ones are a little hint a bit bigger in size than the red. I'll say that they are more comparable to the camel ones that we tried at first. Super long in the legs. Okay, I just saw that my audio stopped recording. I do not know for how long it hasn't been recording, but the battery on the receiver went out. So sorry for that. So we're gonna take from the beginning of this and hopefully I have the audio on all the other colors. Um, so yeah, here we have the gray ones. They have pockets in the front, but also pockets in the back and they are squat proof. And as I mentioned, these are also true to size. I have them in size small as well. I have all of the pants in size small. And it's very convenient because as I mentioned, that didn't record. Um, this type of pants is this sort of pants that I use more for an everyday rather than in the gym. And then I actually prefer to have some pockets so I can put some things in the pockets. And the same length, so all of them goes on the same length and maybe a little bit too long for me but as I mentioned rather too long than too short so 
I like this ones. And now I only have two pair left. One of them is more like a cottony fabric. I will not call them leggings so much, like the leggings fabric. It's more like a pant fabric. But we have one more pair that is this gorgeous blue color that also have pockets in the back like this gray, but no pockets in the front. And it's also in this little more buttery soft cottony type of fabric and not the shiny type. So I'm gonna put them on. And here we have them. So they have a pocket up here, but not in the front. And then they have the back pockets like this and the logo type like that and squat proof and super long in the legs. They are not super high waist. As you can see, these have a little lower raise than the other ones, but still high waist, but not as high. And uh, we'll say these blue ones are True to size, go for your normal size. And super, super comfortable and stretchy and yeah. These are definitely a little bit more snug in the size. So go for your normal size. If you're in between two sizes, maybe even go for the upper size. I still have them in size small, but size medium maybe would have been a better fit. They have a little bubble lime logo there. Uh, I don't feel like these are going to be anything that I'm ever gonna go and work out in. It feels like they are going to soak up sweat, but for an everyday, they are pretty. And they also have the boot hat, and these have a little bit different type of elastic band in the top, an elastic band that is actually more elastic, so it doesn't dig in anything at all. Have a little seam, but no camel toe. Yeah, it's in this typical marl gray fabric. Doesn't show any cellulite or anything, but it will show sweat for sure. I haven't tried that, but I do think for sure it's going to show some sweat. So I'm gonna clear it out a little bit about the inner seam. So they are coming in inner seam 29, 31, 33, 35 and 37. I picked the inner seam 35. I would have been a little bit better off with the inner seam 33, but I just, I, I took my inner seam measures, but it is so hard to convert the inches to centimeters. I, it's not always adding up completely. So I do have my inner seam measures down in the description box. I think it's like 79 centimeters or something. I took inner seam 35, but 33 would have been a little bit better. 37 is if you are six foot and above 35 if is if you are between 5 foot 9 and 5 foot 11 and I am 5 foot 10 so I did take the 35 the thing is as in the try on now I didn't have any shoes or anything if I'm adding up a little bit of shoes like my Nike Airs or something for example I would prefer to have it this length but if I'm gonna wear it flat without any shoes maybe 33 would be a better option and 33 in inner seam is for if you are 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 9 then they have 31 inner seam if you are 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 5 and then they have 29 if you are 5 foot 1 to 5 foot 3 but of course you can always just take your inner seam measure and go for what you think will suit you the best so i'm super happy about this pants because i love this type of boot cut and like straight and not super slim but i think it's a huge problem that most of the brands do not have the options for you to choose your inner seams you cannot get the perfect fit so i am blown away i'm just so happy and they come in so many different options you like i you saw the ones like you have something for everyone you have with pockets without pockets i'm just i'm just so happy i can say that bubble lime I think I need to try out more things from them like they have a lot of things like let me know down below if there is something else that you would like me to review from them and I have been living in both the pants and their underwear ever since I got them so yeah definitely recommend them and um, I definitely recommend you to go and check it out if you're on the hunt for a flare pair of leggings slash pants so I think I'm going to summarize the video there I hope that you did like it and give it a big fat thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to click on the little subscribe also, make sure to click on the notifications, do everything in your power so you don't miss out on any coming content from my channel. Also make sure to go and check out my Instagram because there I post daily. So my friends, I hope I'm gonna see my coming video, but until then, take care and bye.